nature and the experiences that one can have in nature should be accessible to all. My inner voice went around in my head telling myself things that I would never be able to do again. A very kind recreational therapist asked, what do you truly love? And the answer was so simple to me. It was nature. Driving home from work one evening on a back road it was about 12 o'clock at night after a long shift. My car rolled and immediately I went from being physically able to being a C5 level quadriplegic that couldn't move from the shoulder to chest level down. I was searching and lost and that is a very scary place to be. Nature was going to be an avenue where I could find healing. I was introduced to Power to Be through one of their kayaking programs. And it was scary at first, not knowing if I'd be able to get into that kayak. But once we pushed off into the water, it was so calm. dip that paddle in and take that first deep breath, I knew right then and there that I was going to be okay. There's always that anxiousness because you just don't know how are the boys reacting to the situation. We have two boys. Nathan is 12 and Carter is 10 and they were both diagnosed with ASD. For Carter, he does have a hard time with controlling his emotions and his reactions to certain things. But when he's out here, he levels out. Places put limits as soon as they find out there's a diagnosis. And here, there's just no limits. One of our philosophies here at Power to Be is around comfort zones. And what we want to do is set up a safe place for people to push out of their comfort zone, because that's where the magic happens. When you step a little bit outside of what you're used to, you realize what you can accomplish. And you have a really supportive community that surrounds you to try new things. Nathan's happy place is definitely out on the water. He doesn't want to be paddling as much, but he wants to be out there and he runs his fingers through the water. This is one of those places that they don't have any judgment and they want to care for your kids and you know that they're going to be okay. I want people to be able to come through the organization, go through progressive programs and clubs, just to leave feeling confident in themselves. We want to empower lives and the individuals who are on our programs are taking tangible skill sets away because we don't just want them to stay here forever. We want them to be able to learn and love what they're doing and take it with them. For various people with disabilities, depending on the setting, you're always being told no. When we provide the safe space and the comfort of being in the forest or being out on the water, people just connect both with themselves, with the natural world, and then those that are around them.